traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Okay, folks, we're going to uh, pay attention to the S&P because we're sitting right here at the 61% retracement at 41.52. Uh, we're trading at 41.53.75. The Dow Jones is actually at the 78% level as we speak here at 34,050. It looks like this market is getting ready to actually go higher. I mean, it had every reason in the world to keep going down. Everything was set up, but the market just doesn't want to pay attention to it. So you got to pay attention to what you see, not what you think. So we're probably getting ready uh, to go higher. I wanted to bring to your attention the folk, uh, to the fact, folks, that we have a uh, a money show coming up here in Las Vegas uh, on the uh, 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th in Las Vegas. They used to be free many years ago, but now you have to pay to get in. I think it's $150, and you think that would cut back uh, participation. Unfortunately, uh, people are willing to pay that, and uh, they, uh, they fill the place up. It's really quite amazing how many people are there. They've asked me to uh, be a speaker again. And that's the first time I've been there in about six years. I did them every year, folks, for 20 years. It all started in 1999 with Tim Borkwin and Jim Sugarman. They were L.A. police detectives. They happened to be my students and were trading foreign exchange. And they had an idea to put this seminar on in Las Vegas out there in Cucamonga, I believe, outside of Los Angeles. And so they said, come on over. We're having a bunch of guys uh, talking about uh, – technical stuff you want to join us and I said sure so I went over there and I was wearing a pair of Bermuda shorts and a polo shirt like I was ready to play golf and I don't play golf and so what happened was I showed up and oh my god that the the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the CNB, CNBC had just started I believe uh, was it FNN? Anyway, that there were TV cameras there. And so I got interviewed and stuff. And anyway, that started it. And it went on and on. And it's been going on for many years. But about 20 years ago, Jim and Tim sold it to uh, the folks out of Sarasota that run the Money Show now. And I've been working with them for many, many years also. My very first experience with Tom O'Brien was in the uh, 2001 uh, money show that was in February of 2002. Uh, they had done three of them now in New York, and what happened was uh, they were because there was a giant hole in the ground, and you could smell diesel fuel for miles and miles. The uh, hotel said, "Look, we'll give you the option of not uh, holding it up because this is a act of God, and there's not much you can do about that." And they said, "No, we're going to do it. We think it's going to be." And oh my God, folks! It was the biggest money show we have ever had. Oh, I mean, people were standing, and it was cold outside. They had to stand in line to get into the building. It was it was socks off. I mean, it was just uh, unbelievable. And that's where I met uh, Tom O'Brien, and he was giving a talk, and he was uh, talking about Fibonacci numbers, and there were two guys in the room who were my students. These were the hockey players from the uh, 1980 uh, team, and uh, they walked up to him and said, well, if you think you know something about Fibonacci, you should go over and talk to Larry because he's forgotten more than you'll know. Well, Tom came over and being the personable guy that he is, we hit it off really good and we had a lot of fun. And since that time, I've been uh, giving a, uh, a show here now for 17 years, which I which I really enjoy. But uh, the live trading part, uh, they, we did those many years ago. It was always uh, three people. It was uh, John Hill, myself, and Larry Williams. And the, we were the only one that would trade live. I mean, most of these other folks wouldn't do it. So what happened was we were uh, – um, in, I think it was in at the at the Marquis uh, Hotel, Marriott Marquis, and uh, the, the very first time we tried it, 
And uh, we, John and I were together, and I was losing, and he was losing. And so John says, "Looks, we'll be able to go to Cantor's to have uh, have uh, an early lunch because everybody's going to be gone." Well, these people went out into the audience and in the in the, the trade show area and says, "You got to come in. These two professionals are losing their butts." And so they filled the place up till the fire marshals came in and said, "You're, you're limited to 300 people in this room." And then John and I got hot, and we got we had some really good trades. Bang, bang, bang. We traded all day long, had a lot of fun, and we had a lot of profitable trades, which was good and everything. But uh, it was really fun. They haven't done those for many years, and so this year, the Money Show asked me to do a live trading session in Las Vegas, and. Uh, they uh, they said, you know, we've had people requesting this, but we don't know anything about it. And I said, well, you weren't here when we, we did these things. And they said, well, I just hope we don't get hurt too badly. And I said, what do you mean by hurt too badly? And they said, well, it costs us $500 to have this room. And I said, well, I think we're going to be able to cover that. So we only need 10, 10 people to cover that room uh, in Las Vegas. So I'm pretty sure uh, we'll be okay. I think we have eight right now. So I'm looking forward to, to doing that. And it, 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 will, it will be some fun. Okay, now I posted the chart here in the den today. I'm going to go down memory lane here today, folks, because this old cowboy is flat out. And I can't say it any other way other than this. I is flat out exhausted. I'm going to be taking some time off. How much? I don't know, but I'm not coming back till I'm feeling better because I'm just too doggone tired. And that's not a good way to be trading. And I've had several instances here. Uh, today I'm going to show you one. This is the one that actually uh, that actually really said, wow, you need to take a break. And I'm going to show you it right now. I talked about this for at least a week because it was on its way up here. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a break here to get this up here. Something we haven't traded in a long time, and I and I said this is going to be one we haven't traded in a long time. Now, when we were down at this level right here, which was the 61% retracement, you see we went straight up, and the target here, folks, was 166.25. Well, uh, I had an order sitting in there today at 166.25, and by gosh, it hit that level, and it's never been any higher since. It came back to be unchanged on the day. Now, I forgot to send this out because I was busy looking at what? The euro. I was looking at gold. I was looking at soybeans. We had a couple of really beautiful trades here in soybeans that I'll, I'll go through with you. But when I start missing stuff like that, uh, I, uh, I'm saying, well, you know, that's it. Not only that, but I can feel it in my voice. And my energy level has dropped a little bit, so that's it. Let's get back to business. We've got a really good question that came in from Jeff uh, over in New Jersey. That's a, a really important question that many of us, and even myself, asks about sometimes. This is the uh, chart here of the uh, Japanese yen, and he makes a really good point here because it's time-related, okay? And Bryce Gilmore was the one that was told me how much sensitive the time is. Now, look, you can see the ABCD that's predicted here, okay? Now, look, you sell it here, but look at this. Look how long this goes, and it doesn't do anything. Folks, if you're trading short-term, and this thing goes more than about 20 bars, be careful. Be very careful. This means there's something not right because this should have at least come down to here. So this is a major consolidation. And as you can see by the news that came out, it was to the upside. Hey, we're going to take a little break here. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we looked at the uh, E-mini Dow and also the E-mini S&P. Uh, we're going to take a look here at the Russell because it's also just exceeded, just recently, just exceeded the 61% uh, retracement level. And I'll get this one so you'll be able to see it also. I'm going to cover these more in depth uh, on the next show coming up in uh, the next uh, 45 minutes. But that's pretty much what we're seeing. Yeah, this is going up. The market still looks bullish. And... Uh, you know, it just doesn't want to back off, so you can't really fade it. I mean, I had every chance to go down after the big move down yesterday. Really a lot of fun when you're short those kind of things. But by golly, when they go straight up from that level, you, you really can't do anything. You just got to stand aside. I tried selling it today, got stopped out, and that's neither here nor there. But let's take a look here at one of the things that we've been following very closely, and that is the soybean market. And I made a decision yesterday that I am going to try to stay with this as long as I can. But what I decided to do, as you'll notice here, this was what we were looking for, for a move up. And, of course, we bought it down in here, and we rebought it right back here. Okay, you see that little spot right there? That's where we rebought it. Now, let me show you what it was looking like on a smaller time frame. I'm going to get this up here. Now, this is the July soybeans on an hourly chart. And I will get this up here so you'll be able to see where we are. Okay, there. this is where our buy was, right here. Okay, and then over the last five days, we've made a perfect ABCD pattern up here at 88, at 1488. And so we decided to say, okay, we are going to sell out at 1485. That locked in another $2,500. We made $0.60 cents on the first one. That means we made $0.85 cents almost all of the $5,000 of the, the dollar a bushel. So we made $0.80 cents out of a dollar a bushel. And it looks so nice up here. I said, look, you've got double ABCD patterns here. I said, yeah, you probably ought to go short. And then at the end of the moon, because I'm so tired, I said, ah, wait a minute and see what happens. And of course, it's dropped just about $0.20 cents 
from that level. So there's another reason why I realize that I'm, uh, what do you call it, uh, focusing on the wrong things as time eludes me each day here, and I'm going to have a little break here. But we need to help out at TFNN because of David. I'll finish up this week, and then we'll see how it goes. I'll be going to Las Vegas the week of the uh, 24th. Uh, through the 28th, I'm uh, meeting some friends there along with the show I'm going to be doing for The Money Show, which is uh, always a lot of fun. I've been enjoy enjoyed doing those over the years. Now, we always try to do a trade here every day. I'm going to show you one because I got so much flack on this. Oh, uh, uh, hold, uh, hold on just a second here. I got to do something. Uh, uh. Have to answer somebody something. Okay, I, I posted this chart here of the uh, gold here because I, uh, during the time that I did this, I wanted to bring this up here, show you another example of, of uh, when you're, uh, just not at your A game. Okay, I want to bring this up here. There's the ABCD. You see the 1.618 expansion right here. It's also a 1.27. There's the ABCD right at that level, and I'm giving I'm, I'm showing the folks here, you know where this thing has been going, and that's of uh, course we we bought it way down here. We didn't take as much out of it as we should, but uh, this is what I said. And then at the very end of the at the very end of the tape, I was talking myself into selling it up here at uh, uh, 2056 with a stop at 2066. Well, it's trading at 2054 right now. And we got a caller from Texas. Al, how are you doing? Doing great, Larry. What can I help you with, buddy? Yes, sir. Uh, I got a, my brother called, well, sent me a message about uh, what's going on with China and um, Taiwan. Uh -huh. And something about he saw Buffett talking about the Taiwanese semiconductor stock. Yes. And um, I was wondering if you can take a look at it. You mean Tucson and Semi? Uh, Tucson Semi? You mean ta Taiwan? God, I give up. I all <laughs> Tucson <laughs> Semi. Tucson Semiconductor. TSM. Yeah, they have a lot of those here. <laughs> yeah. I I happen to look at this stock occasionally for friends that are uh, over in Taiwan. So I will bring this up, and uh, it has a has a, had had a pretty good move, but it's since backed off a little bit. And you'll see here that's under a great deal of pressure. Let me put the chart up. But the guy that really knows this uh, more than anybody else, uh, hold on, this is not going to work. Just one second with me, Al, and I'll be right with you, sure. is, is John Jameson. And I, I'll tell you, I'll do my best to get that guy on here to uh, talk about the semiconductors. Let me give it to you in a, in a, in a nutshell, okay, Al? He says sure. that the, the, the big thing that's happened now, uh, semiconductors rely on neon gas. The neon, 80% of the neon gas comes from the Ukraine or from China. So they have control of the chip business. They really do. So John says we have to have our chips here in our country. We can get neon gas from Africa. Uh, but, you know, what he's saying is that these chips, because they're, going through a big change between supply and demand, he said the problem is that this Tucson, uh, golly, TSM is, uh, they're, they're going down, and the main, main reason is it's not a, uh, it's a supply thing. You know, they just can't, they just can't get enough stuff in to make it. And he said this is the big leverage that China, i.e. Russia, has over the chip industry. That's why we're moving all the chip industries back to the United States, building that monster plant in uh, Phoenix, I believe, somewhere around that area. So that's what yeah, he says it is. He says it's all related to that. Yeah, because I'm looking at my chart, and I told my brother it looked like it's, just, it's already on a downtrend on um, yes. the weekly, and it's uh, already at the – there might be a bounce on the daily, but mm -hmm. of course I said, well, let me – Ask Larry and just to get some feedback on it, and I greatly appreciate it. I know you're tired, buddy. I know you are. <laughs> you have are. no idea, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come down to Houston and spend a couple of days with you, Al. <laughs> All righty. I'll be ready. All right. Hey, thanks yeah. for calling in, buddy. I, I really do appreciate it. Okay, let's right, move you on take care here. Of now. Hey, you bet, pal. Okay, right. let's move on here and. Uh, Al has been a perennial bull in gold for a long time and, and silver, so I know he's a, a very, very happy camper. Okay, now moving on. <laughs> I got to show 
<laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I, I have to show you what's happening because I, I when you when you're in this <laughs> business as long as I am, and you see people making mistakes, you you got to pay attention to this because I'm going to show you what it is. <laughs> Oh boy, I just missed this one. Hold on just a second. I'm going to post a chart here because I'm as I'm doing these shows, you know, I'm watching a few markets, especially you know things that I happen to be in. But we're going to look at this one and see where we are here. Hopefully, uh, this is the cattle market, okay? And uh, you'll notice here this was the double top here at 166.22. That was the top of the expanding triangle, and you can see it came down, dropped 60 pips, went right back to almost the same high. Then it came down, and I was laughing at this because I said I got to put an order to sell another one here at the 382, and I <laughs> I missed it. I got busy talking, and I forgot. Anyway, hey, we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648, and with special guest today, folks, Billy Ray Valentine. For If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of silver over the past uh, week or so. You can see this is an hourly chart, and it is really strong, folks. You can see the 382 pullbacks. I've marked them off in a black box and put the 382 and you know where the retracement was each time these were absolutely perfect and it's going to the upside folks this market is acting like the market of uh, 1979 and 80 in silver uh, this is back you know when the commodity future traumatic commodity futures trading commission just started in 1975 okay so it was brand new 
CFTC came in a little bit later than that. The NFA, National Futures Association, came in a few years uh, later than that. But the reason why I'm talking to you about this is during that time between 1979, that was around November of 79, into January the 20th of 1980s when the silver and gold both topped, uh, silver had a run of, I believe, 22 limit days where it went limit up 22 days in a row from about 27 to about 45, 60 bucks, backed off a little bit, and the, and the eventual price was $54. The problem was there was very, very little trading going on in silver but above $40 an ounce all the way to 54 Those were fictitious prices. Uh, I mean, Handy and Hardham would we were getting our silver from at Drexel from Handy and Hardham, and uh, they wouldn't even guarantee delivery on some of this stuff. So when we got the fifty-four dollars an ounce. The uh, the futures uh, group there and NF uh, one. I apologize, folks. NYMEX, the metals exchange there in New York, got together and they said, "Well, we're going to make this for liquidation only. No one can buy the contracts." You can only sell. That's for liquidation only. And what happened was the market went down like 12 days in a row, limit down. That started on January the 20th of 1980. And that was the high, folks, for 21 years. It didn't bottom until 2001 when gold hit, uh, I believe, 256 and silver was trading at $5 an ounce. So uh, that's what happened to it. Now, I... I don't know if this is going to be a parabolic move to the upside or not, but it's certainly acting like uh, this is what's going to be happening. So try to find a place to buy. Don't be scared. Put a stop in, and you should be, uh, you should be okay. Now I'm going to change uh, direction here a little bit because I'm tired of ch showing charts. There's a couple other I do want to show, but I'm tired of doing that. So I'm going to – someone asked a question about – reminiscences about my fun years at Drexel and uh, they were all fun <laughs> it was the best the best years of my life between uh, 80 uh, 76 and 82 it was uh, just just absolutely great six years oh dear I tell you some of them are just so I uh, the memorable some of the fun was after the Drexel thing I mean there's so many of them all right here's one Re really I've told it before but we're going to tell it again I became friends with Robert Wagner and Jill St. John well, back in my Drexel days uh, he owned a horse uh, and so did my friend Bob Gilmillian Bob was my best friend at the time it's long before I met uh, uh, what you call it uh, <laughs> Byron Tucker and Jay Cross was still married so I didn't become close with Jay until he got divorced but anyway I, so I got to know uh, them and uh, we would go to the track and so it was it was Ho Hollywood Cup Day just like the it was like the uh, Kentucky Derby in California so we go there and because Drexel had the best place in the house because you know Marge Everett who owned the, the track was a uh, Drexel customer and a good friend and so they'd had these special boxes and so Drexel had it they never showed up but on on uh, Hollywood Cup Day they always did but for that day there was nobody there so there was an extra table which was really valuable so uh, the uh, fellow that uh, ran the the, the Mater D there uh, said hey you know you got your uh, table what do you want me to do with it and I said well let's move over there and so uh, we all sat we sat down there were like five of us there and uh, Jill St. John spotted somebody that she recognized and it was Paul Horning the guy who played number five who played at Notre Dame and also for the Green Bay Packers and uh, she said oh she said I'm just a big fan of his and I says well I said I'll go get him she says uh, she says let me go with you so <laughs> here I am and so we walked over and we you know I said hey we're a big fan of yours and he looked at her and he said he said, you're Jill St. John. And she said, yes, I am. And she said, well, he, he was happy. I mean, he didn't know I was there. Anyway, we got him back and we got to meet him and have everything. And so had a really great time and everything. But, uh, I, you know, folks, I, I, when I drop names here, you know, I've met a few people, people along their years and stuff. That, that I don't really – these are the memories that I have, folks. I've had a great life because of the memories that I have, for God's sake. Think I can still remember it. I got friends here in Tucson that can't remember what they had for breakfast. I can't even think what I had, as a matter of fact. I had cereal today. Anyway, that – 
that's what you got to do. And I am just flat out tired. I'm going to do the shows, uh, finish up this week, and then I'm going to take some time off because there's great markets coming. And if I don't rest up, I'm going to screw up. And I don't want to do that. I know when it starts to happen, when I miss things, then I know it's been coming because I've seen it here and there. But we're going to take a little break here and get back into the game here and have some fun with these markets. And that's what it's all about is having fun with these markets. I'm going to give you one other story about Jill St. John and uh, Robert Wagner. Uh, we, it was another big day at the races, and my daughter, Laren, wanted to come and see some of the movie stars. And of course, she had she knew who some of them were because we had been to parties, and she was, you know, every time Drexel did anything, the family came together, and we had Fourth of July's and all the Hanukkah stuff, and the Christmas held. Drexel was 90% Jewish, and they had bigger Christmas trees and bigger Christmas parties than any of the uh, Anglo-Saxon brokerage houses. Well, so she wanted to go and, and meet some of the people, which she had done before. Remember, my kids went to school with Frankie Avalon's kids and, and Dennis Weaver's kids and uh, what was his name? Uh, Roberts. Uh, oh, dear. The guy from... Uh, from the Virginian, oh, Eric Roberts. No, that, that wasn't Eric. I can't remember his first name. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing things today, and I shouldn't be doing this show, but I am. So I've got to continue on the best I can, and so I'm going to fall back. Well, I'll tell you this last story. Anyway, Laren was 12, and she came in, and she had a beautiful little dress on and a little hat and everything, springtime. And uh, Jill St. John said, come on, honey, we're going to go to the ladies' room. So she goes to the ladies' room. They're going about an hour. And when she comes back, Jill St. John had put makeup on her. I eyeshadow the whole thing. I mean, she just looked like she was 23. She was 12. I think she was. Tw she looked like she was 23. She was so proud and happy that I, I couldn't believe it. The problem was when we got home. And the ex-wife saw her like that. Oh, man, you talk about a volcano. Boy, it was really bad. Not only that, Laren being a hard-headed one, uh, she says, I'm not washing this off. <laughs> anyway, it was a, she still remembers it, thank God. One of the few things she does remember. Well, I've left it long enough, folks. We're going to be coming up to a break pretty soon. I'll get back in the business here of looking at charts, and we'll get back to them right now. There's another one here that I posted for today that I think is uh, uh, relatively important. Now, let's get this up here. And that is the wheat market, folks. Uh, we had a chance in the wheat market for a, a really nice uh, head and shoulders pattern, but that has failed, folks. As you see here, that's exactly what's happened. The wheat market has failed in here, so it looks to be going down a little bit more. Now, how much more? I'm not sure. We're going to take a break here. 877 927 6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open. 
to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we have a caller from uh, New Jersey. Jeff, what can I do for you? Uh, hi, Larry. I uh, seem like a good time to call in. Um, could you take a look at the silver weekly chart back to uh, January of 2021? And um, I'm asking you to do that because I see a Gartley pattern uh, in the okay. making, and um, silver is just so strong, gold strong. You know, yes. I, I like to, okay. when the switch is a D point of the Gartley pattern, I like to short this. But, um, okay. you know, <laughs> fundamental the fundamentals are causing doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the fundamentals always cause a problem when you have a straight up move like this. But this is, uh, I haven't looked at silver on the uh, weekly for quite a while, but I'm going to do it right now. I'm, I'm searching for the W here. And we'll get it up here. This thing is just acting just like it was back in the old days of, uh, we'll see here. Okay, that's what we want to see. Here it is. Oh, I've already got it drawn in, Jeff. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm looking at the same thing you are. So this is going to be interesting here. Let, I want to bring this up so you folks can see it. Uh, there we go. Uh, I think this is what you're looking at. This a big ABCD up here at uh, $27 uh, an ounce. Is that what you're talking about? Um, well, I have a D point of uh, twenty four dollars and seventy three cents. Oh, oh, back at the X point, yeah, it's uh, twenty seven uh, ninety eight. So about twenty eight dollars. Yeah, twenty eight bucks. Uh, yeah, twenty eight bucks. Two bucks from where it is right now. Yeah. And the thing is about silver, this hasn't happened in a long time. But it, sometimes when it gets going, like it is right now, it's in short supply. I mean, they really just don't have any for sale. Uh, I mean, they start clamoring for this stuff, and it can go four or five dollars an ounce in a very, very short time, my friend. So that's what you want to do is just be careful. What what I will be watching for, Jeff is if it moves more than a dollar or two in any day and you don't want to sell it while it's going straight up, wait till the wait till the bar has been made. You know, in other words, if it's a uh -huh. weekly chart, you know, wait a few days. You don't have to stand in front of it. You know, it's not uh, it's not necessary that you uh, that you do that. But it's got all the earmarks and it's heading for uh, twenty seven or twenty eight dollars a, a barrel without uh, without too much trouble. So I just uh, right. I hope that helps. So the yeah. So, so what you're saying is because it's such a wide uh, time frame, a weekly, I can afford, you know, to get in two or three days late or a day late or whatever. So, wait until sure. I start to see a turn at that yeah. uh, D point. Yeah. Uh, good yeah, idea. You don't, okay. You don't get extra. You don't get extra points for picking a high or low. 
So, you know, sometimes you feel like you're going to be able to do that, but frankly, you're not. So you, what you got to do is enter the best way you possibly can. And you know from looking at all these charts that even if you miss the high, you're still going to get a really nice retracement or an ABCD because the whole world will be bullish and they'll be rallying back. So there's no reason to try to get in there. But this has got all the earmarks of something really, really dramatic uh, happening. That That's the way it looks to me. Okay, great. Okay, thanks. Hey, thanks th Larry. Thank you very much and appreciate your charts that you sent out. So keep up those cards and letters coming in, okay? Thank you. I appreciate your you okay. support. <laughs> I do too. Right. I appreciate your support here at TFNN. Let's take a look here. Uh, you're going to be able to see here, this is the uh, silver market as it was early this morning. And I'll show you what I mean here. I did it once before, but I wanted to do it again. Uh, by the way, I will not be doing the second show here today. Basil Chapman will be helping me out here. Uh, he threw me a life raft, and I said, I'll take it. <laughs> anyway, you can see all of these 382 retracements here. This is indicative of a market that uh, just looks like it's – it's. It, in other words, people – they they can't remember. They, you know, you're talking going back uh, – 2016 okay that was only what seven years ago but going back 42 years ago when it was running like crazy and markets do repeat and believe me folks silver i got bullish silver and it was six and seven dollars when it got to 14 you know that was great when it got to 20 it was fabulous when it got to 36 i was out and gone i didn't get the last uh 20 cents in silver and i didn't get the last uh hundred dollars in gold but boy, I got a lot in between, and that was the thing that uh, you know made my career. And then on, I remember the day that it topped, January the 20th. I'll tell that story again. That's an easy one to retire uh, to talk about. Is that the December gold? Because uh, interest rates were so high, 13% T bills. By golly, guess what? December gold was selling over a thousand dollars an ounce. And limit limit up across the board. Silver was trading at 865. Limit was fifty dollars an ounce. That was fifteen dollars more than limit. And so, by golly, that's uh, I got into some of that, and it worked pretty good. And we got a good friend on the line here from Myrtle Beach. Randy, how are you today? Doing real good, Larry. Good to hear from you, buddy. What can I help you with? Well, I figured I'd help you out and take a look at something. Uh, we got a little God bounce today in natural gas, came right down, and it's real close to where you talked about picking it up. So I'd like to take you, have you take the time and take a look. We're going to do that right now, Randy, and I'll be happy to do it. I was going to do it today, but frankly, I talked to you a few days ago, and I was uh, just these last couple of days, I've just been doing so much. You know, I sent like six videos out in one day, and that was probably a little too much, but. Uh, Oh yeah, we're we're not we're almost at that 194, aren't we? We're getting really close. I'll get this up here, folks, and uh, you'll be able to see where we are here, and get this chart up for Randy, and uh, then we'll be ready to go. I'll be looking at it. I think we're going to get to 194, Randy. If you remember, uh, we bought that at 204. It rallied up to 220. We put our stop at break even at 204, and then it kept continuing to go lower. And it looks like if you take that last area here on the chart and expand it the 1.618 comes in right around 94 so at 94 i'll have a chance to uh, look at that one again also are you there yeah i'm okay, here but okay good any other questions you have about it randy nope that's it i just uh yeah how do you like myrtle beach you as opposed to orange how do you like uh, that's still beach? the area you were looking at that's all I have a question. How do you like Myrtle Beach as compared to Orange County, California? Uh, I like it better out here. It's a little okay. slower and it's comfortable and it's uh, the and the water and the and the weather is great. That's good. That's what I want to hear. Well, come to visit me when you get a chance. Come back this way. I'd like to see you again, buddy. Okay, Randy. Thanks for calling in, pal. We appreciate it. Okay, folks, it looks like we are breaking out here in this. Well, no question about it. Once we once we went above 51 in the stock market, uh, you know, it's starting to uh, run to the upside. So we're going to uh, assume that we're going to go a lot higher. Uh, the cattle market is now down a point and a half from its high. And uh, looks like that trade uh, would have worked pretty good. And uh, we'll see how some of these others are doing here. 
Uh, soybeans are basically unchanged on the day after being up about 14 cents higher a little while ago. So we'll see how that uh, works out, too, as we go through. We're going to take a little break here. And when we come back, I'll uh, answer any questions that you might have, 877-927-6648. And I have a short-term idea for you when we get back from this break here. I'll show you what I was looking at earlier this morning when I was watching these currencies blow explode to the upside. So we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. <laughs> If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tom O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a little chart here. It's a 15-minute chart of the Euro Forex. You'll notice the ABCD pattern that we have right here. This is where we went short last night. And, of course, it only backed off about uh, 25 pips. And then, of course, it went above it. Of course, when you get above here, you know you're wrong. And so the market went up, made it ABCD, and it's just been going sideways, which means the U.S. dollar is going to continue to weaken. And that means that these markets are going to be looking for something other than put their money in the U.S. dollar. It might be bit, Bitcoin. It's certainly gold and silver. Maybe it'll be other things, too, like uh, the Japanese yen. 
So that's pretty much what we're watching here today. Uh, I wanted to mention one other thing here about the mental part of this business, folks. I, I, re I recognize that I am overtired, and I have decided that this is it. We've had one heck of a run, folks, and I'm going to have this run coming back when I'm going to take a little time off. And we get back, we're going to be really ready to go. I am not going to fight these markets. I don't like fighting the markets. I tried shorting the S&P today, took a small loss in that. And after that, I said, no way. But, you know, we had other things that were going really good. So, for instance, the, the soybeans were doing extremely well. And we had one other one, too, and I can't remember which one it was. Off Cattle. Cattle were doing extremely well. They picked up well over $800 so far today. And when you're only risking 200 that's a very good risk-reward ratio of 4 to 1. Cattle is now down on the day, down over two points from the high, which is a, a good thing. Okay, so those are the main things that we're going to be thinking about over these next few days. Uh, don't, don't, please don't send any emails saying that uh, praying for me. I'm in great shape, other than being tired, so I don't want to have to answer any emails. But uh, we're going to have some fun here very, very shortly. But uh, time to take a break and uh, got to enjoy the fruits of the labor. That's mainly it. So let's pay close attention to these things. I'll be sending the videos out. One a day and also doing the newsletter. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. 